Okay, I just want to do a quick video about how to um, attach the M1972 uh, most recent style and remove it from uh, your M1 helmet. So this is a swivel bail um, helmet. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you to put it on. You're literally going to latch it on like this, put it under. You can do it a few different ways. I prefer to, you know, either you can pull up on it. And I'm putting a lot of force on this, by the way, like a lot of force. So try not to do this on a fixed bail because uh, those bales are more valuable than this. Uh, it's better to break these off if you need to, but I've never had a problem personally. You're never obviously gonna put these on. So if you have a swill, uh, sorry, a fixed bale, to get it off is gonna be kind of tough, but you almost need to, if you're pretending that this is a fixed bale, you need to put some pressure down. This is gonna be more difficult because I cut myself earlier on uh, something. So you would more put it down force it down there. You see how much force I had to put on there? You could probably spray some kind of lubricant on there. Um, I'm sure to help you as well. And then pull the other side down and it would come off. The other way to do it is in a swivel bale. The easiest way to remove and even attach it is kind of the other way where you can actually hang it down here. Again, I'm putting a lot of force on this. It's uh, not to go gently. Now I'm gonna put it up actually, the way I had it before. Okay, so have it on. Now the way I sometimes take it off on a swivel bale, or even uh, technically, I guess you could on a fixed bale, uh, if it's just popping up a little bit more, you have it down here, and you kind of put the force right here, and pop up that one side. So now it's popped up and you just pull it all the way off now and off. And again, it's just straight up not easy. Um, that's why if you spray something on here to help you out, that's fine. Uh, I've never broke a bale taking any of these off. Pretty much every M1 I've got here up in Canada has these. Doesn't matter if it's a World War II fixed bale or a, uh, uh, you know, RJ Stamping's post-war um, shell. Uh, these all, they're almost always on it and I always have to take them off. I'm sure one day we'll look back and wish we didn't, but I have literally dozens of these now because of that. So that's how we kind of take it off, just to show you.